been a long time since the girls' basketball team won a game. In fact, there wasn't a girl on the team who could remember the last victory. The team was winless last year in 20 games, and they're off to an 0-5 start this season. Some may view the season as failure, but there's no failure or quit in this team. Um, you know, I think for me, it's always just about getting better. And I try to preach that to the girls, too. Uh, it's not just about, you know, the 0-20 thing is, is kind of just a number. Um, I look at 0-20 just like I would look at any other type of season, whether it's 1-19 or 2-18 or whatever the number is. Um, even if you're going to sectionals on a yearly basis, you're still trying to get better the next year. So the motivation just comes from trying to get better and knowing that you probably don't want to try to repeat that as well. So it comes with hard work in the off season, and you know I'm just a type of competitor where I want to always do better and never settle. Girls basketball coach Dominic Anthony thinks that these tough losses will show the girls how much effort they need to put in to be at a competitive level. Yeah, I, I don't think it's easy. Um, it certainly wasn't easy for me. I'm sure it certainly wasn't easy for them. Um, but at the same time, it's a learning experience. You know, uh, nobody wants to go 0-20, uh, but at the same time, you're still learning from, um, from each game, and you're seeing the teams that are competing at a high level, and you're seeing what it takes. Um, and when we go and we play those teams, we see where we have to get to and the hard work that it's going to take. Anthony knows that an 0-20 season is difficult for any athlete and is proud of the girls' willingness to come back and keep going. Yeah, I, I'm proud of, you know, like you said, going 0 20 is not easy, okay? Um, but it shows the type of character that they have to come back and still want to get better and still improve and still want to continue to play. Um, there's certainly moments when I know that they can do better, and my thing is that I try to preach to them is all about staying committed day in and day out. and. If we have everybody that is willing to do that, things will get better. Despite the struggle to break into the win column, 30 varsity senior Eliza Deasy is representative in the attitude the team has taken. There was a game last year where we only scored three points, and that's kind of an eye opener. And it's it makes you work harder in practice and really think about and reflect on what happened during that game to make the next game better. Not surprisingly, it is the team's solidarity that has kept them positive during difficult stretches. Every, every year, I forget how much I like these girls and this team and coach and how much fun it is just to go and play. DZ believes that the team's future looks bright and they will only improve from here. I have started off this year better than last year. Um, we still got some work to do, and we do play some tough teams here on out, but if I think we can stick through and win some games. Junior Hannah Wells said that although the girls have had a few tough seasons, the team's strong bond has kept them moving forward. Um, what motivates me is just like the group of people that I'm always around. I've grown up like playing with these girls, so it's like I want to continue to keep going until my senior year is over and just enjoy whatever moments I can while I'm there. Injuries, which were an issue for the team last year, have not been a problem in the new season. Last year was a little tough. We lost a good amount and we didn't do as well as we're doing this season. We weren't as strong of a team because we lost a lot of players due to injuries, concussions, whatever it might be. But now we're building up and hopefully we'll have a better season this season. The girls haven't gotten that first win yet, but improving game scores show how far they've gone. I can definitely say that I'm proud of our team because we're actually scoring a lot more this year. We're not getting destroyed by like 43 to 9 or like something like that. The scores this year have been like you lose by like 10 to 15 points, so it's not as bad as it was. So I can see the improvement, so it just makes for a better season. For Eye on the Tigers, I'm Tim Dillon.